you're new to computer programming or just new to making iPhone apps, this course is the best place to start. I promise this course will give you the best, most up-to-date content. My name is Julian, I'm an iOS instructor and app developer with Skillmaster.net, and I think it's a lot of fun to teach other folks how to build apps and get their great ideas running on iPhones and iPads. This course is your best resource for a few reasons. First, you'll learn the basics of the Objective-C programming language. This is the programming language of Apple devices. The lessons are taught for those who may have never done computer programming before, so we'll be teaching some basic computer programming concepts with examples in Objective-C. Everything from creating variables to basic object-oriented programming concepts. As a bonus, while you're learning these programming basics, there are quizzes built into the course to reinforce your learning, and you can be sure that you have understood the important concepts. A great part of this course, however, is that it doesn't stop there. After your intro to the Objective-C programming language, you'll get to apply those skills by building actual iPhone apps. You'll learn to create a basic login system to practice working with basic components like text fields and buttons, and work with user input. You'll also build a separate weather forecasting app that will give you experience working with live data and custom table views. This course gives you two subjects in one. You'll learn the basics of programming with Objective-C, and you'll have a practical app building workshop. But to make sure you're getting the best content possible, you'll get two additional features. First, I know it can be difficult to get started when you're new to computer programming. You're also not always in a position to watch a video. So I've included a written version of all the lessons that teach programming basics as supplements to each lesson. Those are yours as a bonus to each lesson to review and study the content away from your computer. It's also helpful to have a slightly different explanation for certain programming concepts to make it easier to understand. Second, this course goes even further by giving you tutorials on tricky topic of moving beyond the iOS simulator to test your apps on real devices. You'll also learn how to make really powerful apps by incorporating data from third-party companies. As I promised, this course will give you the best, most up-to-date content. You'll start off learning the basics of programming using real examples from Objective-C. Then this course goes further and walks you through building real apps. In addition to that core content, there are several additional features of this course to make sure you get them your money's worth. You'll have built-in programming quizzes to reinforce your learning, a written version of key lessons to study away from the computer, an introduction to powerful third-party data resources, and simple videos to help you get your apps running on real devices. Finally, iOS is changing every year. We're now in iOS 6. So you can stay up to date with the most recent lessons by visiting skillmasters.net. Go ahead and start this course today, and I look forward to teaching you all about iOS development.